Testing, testing. One, two, three. Test, test. One, two, three. ¿Qué onda, güey? Uh, this is the Bodega Cats. Fat Cat. It's lit. <laughs> yeah. And uh, what did I say was uh, always <laughs> modest, never. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. 50 foot peaches. Or easy. And this is what we call the drunken after dark package or something like that. I have it right here somewhere. Borracha. Some drunken package. Borracha. There you go. The borracha one. The borracha. <laughs> I feel like homegirl. Let's not say nothing else. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I can hear her. The nose hears her. And he has the window. Like you can't see it from the angle of the of the recording. But... If this ever goes on um, visual, but from my angle, he has this big old space open where I'm like literally sitting here like a fool talking into a microphone. Nobody knows that Larissa is here because from this angle above myself, <laughs> I talk to myself. <laughs> so I got no one to talk to. If my neighbor has people over, they probably think like that poor fool. It's New Year's, a new decade, talking 2020, talking into a mic, looking straight at like somebody's paying attention. So right about now, I'm kind of happy that we do have some IO kittens. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But it's 2020. Be our witness. 2020. To our fitness. Be a witness to our fitness on this new 2020 whatever is happening. It's okay. Okay. Oh. They can we see. Need, we need privacy. Learn. We need privacy. It's you know. We need a little bit of privacy. Privacy is great, but they can enjoy. The Chinese men enjoy, so why not them? You know. <laughs> <coughs> the Chinese men low net low know less about me. This is why it's called a drunken package, because we're both. Let's just before What's I say something there? like, why don't we gotta? What do I gotta out myself? Like I don't gotta tell you what's going on with my body. Yeah, we're, so All I have to AF. say, AF. it's New Year's. We made it through 2020. Yeah, yeah. 2020. 2020. That's that's a lot. Like singing some song about 2020 in the year 2020 or some. Is that um? Song. I think I've heard that like a robotic song or something yeah, like that. Something. In the year 2020. So, oh, who was that? That was a, a talk show host. Don't give me the line about who that is, but... It's a talk show host. It's a talk show host, uh, I believe it's Conan O'Brien. And he had in the year 2000, back in 1999. And we were just yeah. talking about that, how, holy shit, like, we... So fast. Oh, shit, my ring. One of my heavy ones, too. Sorry about that noise. Um, we were, I think I read this thing in the last podcast, but we were just thinking 2020, a whole new decade. And, uh, you know, besides the fact that everybody, um, especially women talk about like, oh, the new year, new me, you know, now they have the whole, and I'm guilty. I posted that too. Uh, 300 and... 64 about to turn 365 so, i know it's fucking <laughs> stupid but i fell no, for it I that was cute stupid. i thought it's it was cute. cute so i'm like let but me post that it, like it, it's like you know Haley's comet yeah it, it 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 only comes around every 50 years okay so you might not be able to see it but once a year we've seen know, a lot of things that we probably won't see yeah so again I think that's what the year 2020 is, you know. We, like I mean, a big old step. Yeah. Because, you know, we were talking earlier about, like, in the 1900s, like, 1900 was, like, like the, the century ending. Mm -hmm. The 1800s were, were ending, and now it's 19, and then... When it was 1920, it was like 20 years after the turn of the century. And now we're, two, we're at 2000, 2020 is like 20 years from mm. a new like century. Like, 
that's like a quarter of a century. It's it's like math or something. <laughs> It must be math. Century, I guess I don't decade. get it. It's just, it's, it's just uh, mind blowing dude. to me because, like, I was born in the year we won't say, but talk about. I've it. been here a long time, so I've seen many uh, decades, if you will. Yeah. I won't mention how many. And that shit is sick, bro. You can guess my youth. If you want, or not. I mean, it doesn't matter. It doesn't age matter. Age is a blessing. Age is like I've seen a lot of fucking shit. Excuse That's me, what you should be proud of. Yeah, I mean, you know, my grandmother, she was a hundred, and you know, she would just tell us all these stories. And first, when you're a young and you don't care, but the older you are, and especially when you think about it now, me, you know, I was a almost. It's been a while. Like I think it's been six, seven years since she passed. So that long ago, it's almost that decade where you th- thought like, oh, that was cool that she told me this story because it had to do with Pancho Villa. But when you think about it, all the stories were super interesting because it was a time that you didn't even know. I remember her telling us a story that when she lived in this town in Chihuahua and I guess she had money, her, like her, her, her parents, her family had money. And I remember her telling us a story that she was the youngest one, like super young, and the ages were crazy different. Like there was like a 20 year old when she was born, you know? Uh-huh. So she was the youngest and the spoiled one. And she says that whenever she had a party or something like that, that she wanted a dress, she had them go from Mexico City. So there uh-huh. was like no planes or nothing. So they had to go on a, like, a, I guess a carriage with horses wow. and shit. Yeah, I remember. To get her a- fucking dress bro my grandmother she came from wyoming she told me in a covered wagon and mm. they lived out in dugouts um that was just wild like she was born in 1898 that just blew my mind like just like that's crazy i wanted her to talk to me more about mm-hmm. that stuff because I mean because if you look at like traditions from cultures and how they pass down their like their like heritage and culture and I mean even, even though you know I have that guilty like white you know they they talked about Indians as being you know bad and stuff and then because I mean, they were just protecting no. the land. Because I remember... The whole savage. That's why they had to be in dugouts, because, you know... Yeah. Mm. But it it just... It was, like, real. Like, I wish I could have talked to her more about that, to pass, out, pass on just some of that, like... Um, Knowledge. Just, like, rep, rep, reparations. Like, that's, you know, stuff that they went through, and... Whether, you know, you know, my heritage or whatever, but it was just, it was deep. I wanted to know about that, even if it was, like, painful, but, because I need to know about that. I think. Yeah, fuck you. Caucasian people, I think, well, their, I don't know, history has just been skewed about how things happen, and uh, we don't want to be, like, feeling like, you know, I don't know. No, I see what you're saying, and I feel like most <clears throat> people don't have no guilt or nothing because they, their parents and their parents, they never really took a time to show yeah. them all this. Like you're saying, but, excuse me, but... A lot of stuff wasn't reported, like, what oh, happened course. with the... That was my whole point. Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. A lot of stuff didn't get reported because they didn't have, like, well, newspapers and, like, it was, like, the wild wild west you know and yeah <laughs> yeah no it might have been good I'm so sorry good stuff but there was a lot of stuff that was not yeah good. but what i was thinking was that um that was that deep. was sorry, no it but is but like my it makes you think about how now young people they are so um they don't really give a shit and it shows even with in that sense of my brother 
I had a, a recorder and he was recording some of the stories my grandma was saying. And this is the thing. Oh, People don't cool. think it's not a matter of like, oh, you should have recorded them or you should have written it down. It's a matter also of those older people and older generations allowing you to consume their information in them. Yeah. Like, that takes a lot to trust you like that. So she trusted my brother in that sense. And when, when he started recording and doing that, I was like, that's so fucking dope. Why didn't I think about that? Like, we have, like, great stories when she would tell me how she was the best shot in her town. Like, yeah. it was just crazy stories. But now... The youngins nowadays, all the technology that we have, everything that we have that we're doing a fucking podcast in the bodega, you know, yeah. <laughs> in downtown Albuquerque. Well, they, put, they don't care, like, but they could be recording the old, the yeah. elderly right now, bro. They could be taking all the stories and paying attention, but rather they're so disrespectful of the, the you know, that legacies that people have. Because they're old school and they don't really... But just to know, like you said, I want to like, know. And if it, if like... They think Google's going to tell them my, everything. Yeah, my grandmother... Which I like, probably would. They had, you know, people that worked for them that were minorities. And, I mean... And, I, I mean, I want to know about that. I, just because... And, and I don't think it's okay, but I just want to know about, like, to know about my heritage and just that white privilege. Like, you should know like where you come from whether it's because i i feel bad sometimes you know because i mean i do have that that white privilege because well yeah. don't feel bad lorisi i know it's I'm just like saying. uh it is what it is we were born where we were born it was meant to be like people say which i don't believe in you meant to be white so it to, for a segue you're white you is what it is bro <laughs> Uh, but bro. I don't. I don't want to be ignorant. Um, nah, nobody thinks that. Racist of you, bro. or what? I know. I'm just saying. No, no, no. I'm saying no. Nah. I see what you're saying, and I understand. I, it's perspective. But. Like, I want to know perspective. So, <clears throat> I'm not a racist because I'm ignorant about history or whatever. So. But you're not a racist. I know. I'm just. I'm just saying. Oh. I. I don't. I don't want people to assume just because I'm. Caucasian that that's the way I think <laughs> <laughs> I doubt that anybody that's seen the videos that we put up so far <laughs> think that you're this Caucasian that uh, I don't I know. know I don't I'm know just, what you're saying but <laughs> it's deep deep super deep uh, let's get into a lighter note it literally is just turned 2020 uh -huh. and I'm gonna try to post these as fast as I can but it might be you know a few days you after 2020 guy, but bro. Uh, no, we just need a, 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 a nerdy to, a nerdy. you know, because this is a, and then also, not to be like I'm pretty anal and OCD, I, I want to edit it to where we don't say the wrong thing because we both need our jobs. <laughs> so right. anyway, uh, but <coughs> 2020, she doesn't like cough into her microphone, but she comes to mind. <laughs> Sorry. Just kidding, bro. So 2020 just happened literally, like, what time is it? Two hours ago. Holy shit, two hours two? ago. And we're, like, pumped. Two pumped, hours pumped, ago. And we're old and pumped. Like, that goes to show you. 2020 is bringing a whole new vibe. It's, it's positive. We have positive this positive. We're only. with the vibes. We're with the, you know, auras. And it's all positive. And, I mean, this is really cool that we do have that. And energy, like, where we were at, at tonight. At first, I was like, "Wow, this is really white." <laughs> but wow, and I'm surprised you thought that because I didn't think that. Really, I just I, thought that because there was so many different types of whites. Usually, you see the same type of white. Like if you go to this, I'm not gonna say the name, but there's this like little I was breakfast thinking that, place. But it's the same types of whites. I saw people who were just go to like, Whole Foods. The same types of whites. Happy. And different though dancing and just like you could tell they were more like you like that like open minded yeah. diverse like the Abba lady she came and danced with us oh like, yeah well I think I like believe she, yeah, the team the team the um, Abba? band is called Abba Kirky Abba <laughs> like Abba Kirky like she I came believe. it's like she came to us and she knew we were like down you can dance 
You can be having the time of your life. Dancing queen. Oh, I love Abba. That was cool. So she did. She totally came to us and, uh, well, she gravitated. I keep telling well, Larissa, we have seen the Abba, like the real band. Like, oh, they're course. like, they're beautiful women. They're from Sweden. Sweden? Sweden? I don't know. That's why I thought that guy was from Sweden. Anyway, um, it was a good time and, like, really positive, except for that bartender. Oh, and the first girl. She we got to talk s- about the beginning. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we got there and we're like... Um, we had our all spot. All right. <laughs> we didn't get there too early. I thought it was early. And then when we got into our Uber Lyft, our Lyft, the guy's like, it seems like the party started already. And blah, blah, we're blah, like, regardless really? of okay. what goes on with the city. But that they were like, okay. And we get there and we're walking over there downtown and it's fucking dead. Like, there's, don't get me wrong, there's popping. Like, there was no line, yeah. There was a freaking DJ in a truck. Yeah, in the, like, army truck. Loris is like, there's a DJ outside. <laughs> <laughs> it was cold as fuck. It was yeah, cold it was as fuck. Like 28. So we're like, ooh. It's cold. It's cold. It's cold. It's cold. It was cold. It's super cold. So we get there, and I told Loris, we didn't buy tickets ahead. So we're going to have to wait in line. Fuck it, in line. And we're all thinking, so we bring our coats and... Yeah, we're all, like, G'd up, like, you know, we're old. We're classy, <laughs> we're old. And uh, <laughs> we get there, there's no line. We get in there right away. We pay, the girl literally tells us, you're the last credit card transaction. After this, we're going cash, because it's getting ratchet. <laughs> I'm like, what the shit? Ratchet? So, she said that, I didn't No, she it. didn't say ratchet, but that's what she she's meant. Like, like, it's people, going she's slow. like, it's going to get crazy after this. And you know how people are. We know, well, the whole point of this story is this whole thing is that oh, we so are at the bar and cool. yeah and she said because she looked at it as if it's meant to be it wasn't really her it was just it, the actual fucking machine <laughs> got my credit card or not and it Everything did so we did you got your thing off. still I got my thing still I think no it's my, I washed I my sweat. hands <laughs> I sweat it anyway so <laughs> we pick a spot at the bar because it was just I'm not about I didn't feel good first of all like the podcast that pizza. came before this it was, was great, pizza. but after you didn't see the aftermath, and we the went Salve a little crazy. Salduva helped me. Salduvas helped. Salduva. We took some salduvas uh, earlier today. I felt I. I was but like, I wasn't in go. the mood to be all like ooh and shit. Like I mean, we would have recorded the end of last now. night. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be telling Larissa now. Nah. You know what what it, <laughs> do you know what it is? And Larissa be making fun of me nonstop. <laughs> yeah. you, those are lies. lies. But anyway. Mm. Why do you have to lie? We got our good vibes. We're sitting there at the bar. Everything's cool. And uh, this bitch just walks. like Between we're, it, like We're not even that far apart. Like, Larissa and I have... The type of relationship that we can like, literally be like, yeah, we can like be we're like, so anyway, no the other day. it's okay, like we're yeah. okay like that. We're just chilling. So we're pretty close. Mine and our business. Yeah. And the, at, okay, so anyway, she comes in with her drink. She gets right be, like between us, doesn't say one word, puts her drink down, which is already rude, but. Yeah, and we're all then, talking. We're talking, so we just stopped. Like, I thought she knew Laura, Lorisi. So I was just I didn't like. I didn't look over. I just saw this and, arm. And then she has the fucking nerve to grab her straw and don't, you know how a normal person, like a normal human, decent it's person in society would do? You make sure you drop the juice and then you pull. No, she just grabs the fucking straw and pulls. She dribbles all over my shirt. I don't even know where it went, but I'm pretty sure there was drops everywhere, bro. Hello? It's like, don't mind her, got that close. Like, on the side of me, that was, like, she could have put a drink there, like. Everywhere. Did you see the little tables around later on when we were dancing? Anywhere she could have put her drink. And if she's fucked, that fucking fucked up where she has to be rude. She would have put it on a fucking She didn't even say, like, excuse machine. me, I was going to put my drink here. Like, oh, yeah, that's cool. Dude, but the straw thing? Yeah. It was like she did it on purpose. It's like, yeah. whoa. She was probably going to snort Coke. 
Probably, but... And she didn't have a dollar bill or something. I don't know. And do you have to be rude and disrespectful? And we were just talking about 2020 for us is bringing accountability as a human being. We were sounding like our... Our mothers and grandmothers. <laughs> well, you could tell how old we are. Kids today don't have any accountability. Uh, they don't. They don't. No respect. I just feel like, okay, it maybe is. we are old. But if everybody owned up to their own shit, we wouldn't have this fucked up world that we have right now. I, th- I, th- I don't think it's old. I think it's just, like, maturity. Like It's mature. We're, we're mature. Respect people. Like And we know now we've, and they, our old yeah. people told us, wait and wait and you'll like, know. And we're like, I, how yeah, can you know? I was, I and was now I'm punk. like, wait and you know. I was a punk. Yeah, bro. You I think wish, you know everything. I wish I wasn't a punk when I was a punk. But now I see 2020 vision. 2020 <laughs> vision. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I know it's exactly clear. what you mean. Hold on, I can hold on, see hold on, clearly hold on. now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The rain is gone. Hold on, hold on. I don't say anything that you don't want to be taken off because I'm taking all mind. of this out. All of this Anyways. is going to come out. So if you don't mind, but hold on. Don't mind. Dude. But, no, it, I think... Hold on, hold on. I think that's just... A, we're mature, and that's a sign of maturity and respectfulness and respect towards your fellow human being. And, you know, I wish... I, I always see... You know that saying, hindsight's twenty twenty. Yeah. Have you ever heard that? Of course. What about it? Like, if I knew what I know now when I was, what, 20? Oh, my gosh. I would have talked to my grandmother and even my mom. I would have talked to my mom about stuff. Like, I always have to call my sister and say, what was I like when I was blah, blah, blah? And when did I walk? And when, because... And these are the type of conversations that I'm having with my mother after yeah. fucking almost 30, bro. So, <clears throat> yeah, I get it. Like, where you were like, ah, now I want to know. Dude, I didn't even think about the other shit. Like, and now I'm like, why didn't I ask my grandmother who lived a hundred years yeah, more I about what the fuck see, my life in the world is? Died at, right when I was, like, 19 or 20, and then my mom, like my mid 20s so I you just it's like we don't get mature until or well your brain doesn't fully develop in, until uh, yeah. like 30 bro or like 30-ish well, 35 I hate to say this but guys mature much later well don't they say it's between they used to say 25 and 30 now they say it's 30 and 35 I believe so anybody can so men it's any, like 40 45 no. I don't know, maybe, but... Uh, me I don't know. want to be, like, gender, half genderism. No, but... But maybe... It's true. I mean, I really haven't seen a mature... 30-year-old man? 30-year-old man. Have you? My brother. Okay, so there are exceptions. I don't want to mm-hmm. say... Everyone. But he's the only one, I think. I don't think I know anybody else. Because your mama raised... My mama and my grandma. Yeah. My mama and my pali, yeah. Strong. But he did too. Strong women. He was the only man I knew. Like, he, the only uh, male figure, figure, you know. My uncles were there in and out and shit, but let's not talk about this. Okay. Um, I don't know. <laughs> let's not get Okay, sad. so we could talk about, oh, the, oh. the bad vibes from. So, strong girl. Yeah, so strong, strong girl. So, strong girl does her thing. Yeah. And we're like, okay, that's fucking rude. And we're like, she's not going to ruin okay, her fucking yeah. vibe. Yeah, don't, don't let her. Let's not ruin her vibe. Yeah. And then. So we got positive vibes. So then we actually got two straw girls. So then this other girl comes <laughs> over. That was so funny. And just very randomly, casually dancing behind Larissa and me. We're at and the bar. Like, <sighs> Breathing. Everybody, the humanity was behind us. Like we could feel their breath waiting for their drink. <sighs> And they wanted drinks and homegirl. And I don't think Larissa understood what she said, but I heard her perfectly because 
I was on this side, so I'm she like goes to Lorisi. I'm like my little straw. And she goes, can I? Can I? And you know, I love this about white girls. <laughs> They're like, is it, is it, can I have, can I? I was just gonna, I'm gonna take a straw. It's like, <laughs> is like, uh, ah, yeah, uh, okay. Okay. And then she grabs a straw and she shakes it like a decent person, like that other girl didn't. She shakes it. And then she puts it in her, 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 in They were giving everybody straws. And we made a comment one. that it was a paper straw. And we felt very like, hey, 2020, paper straw, recycle, recycle. Yeah, I was just saving it for recycling. Larissa was saving I it for her next STD drink, or... actually. She said, no, <laughs> she does. but you were saving it for your next next drink, you said. Yeah. And most likely she wasn't going to get a straw with her, with her next drink. We got the most nastiest gin and tonic in the world. Oh, my God. And after that, we were like mimosas. But anyway, so Lorisi wanted a straw for her a, mimosa. You can't mess up a mimosa. <laughs> Homegirl comes in. Can, can and I she grabs her little straw. And then she's and like, she's friend like, for life. But she literally just starts drinking from it. Lorisi's like, what if I have an STD? <laughs> <laughs> I must look like I don't get any She action, looks safe, so. I guess. <laughs> Which is, I, I look for safety. I know people think that's not sexy, I but I STD. think it's sexy. <laughs> Because <laughs> I'm a big girl. Well, I don't think that has anything to do with that. I'm just kidding. But it who doesn't a want a clean girl? Self-depreciation <laughs> is what it said. We all want a clean girl. Yeah, I'm clean. Oh, because oh, we have this going oh. on. I forgot. No wonder it's not working. <laughs> anyway. Um, Anyways. So, hey, I that was cool. I then action. I went to the bathroom. And she was super cool. So I'm like, hey, bro. That was really <laughs> She wanted cool. to hug you. I don't know. She went like this. <laughs> I remember the, last, like, hey, the last time someone hey, girl, did hey. that to me was when I was in Guanajuato and this little kid wanted a churro and he asked me, hey, where'd you get, where'd you get that? And he did the whole. And then, man, you know, like open arms, looking at you, doing that little Mexican wink, like, hey, come on. Where'd bro. you get that? Come on, bro. Come on. And I was just like, ah, I didn't know what was happening. It was a girl's bathroom. I'm always super respectful in the bathroom because women are weird with me. Which, by the way, it reminds me another something that happened on, on the... I don't know if it was the same time I went to the bathroom or the previous time. Because I have a tiny bladder. But anyway, this girl, it she was blind. getting all ready and she's in the mirror. She washed her hands. She's in the mirror. She's getting all like, you know, sexy and dolled up. And I see she has, um, she has a tissue stuck in her beautiful high heel. And I'm like, ugh. And I was hoping one of the other bitches would say something, but nobody said anything. She's putting gloves on, bro. Gloves all the way up to here. And I oh guess we God. had this, like, Great Gatsby theme yeah, happening. Yeah, the, the 1920s. Lorisi uh, tells me I'm, I'm, I'm too old, and I don't know this was happening, but... You're not too old. But you're the one that knew that we had this theme going on. I, well, just, I just thought, heard it, I like, just thought on I had social to take a shower media, like, it. because of, the. it was... It's going to be 2020 and 1920. And it totally makes sense. Yeah. So anyway. I'm just guessing. Nobody said know. anything to this lady. So I was just like, you got tissue on, the, on your shoe. She's like, oh, thanks. And I'm like, yeah, you act like that. But how would you have felt if you walked out of there? And yeah. Like, None of these women said anything to me. That, that's So I'm, that's I'm like, again, I'm very respectful in there. So for the homegirl that wants a hug, I'm just like, hi, bro. You know. Because this is oh, because I almost interrupted a selfie from these like other bitches getting the selfie in the mirror. You know, like I'm such a bitch. I like, asked for that shit were? from Laura. Yeah, I know she was about to say that. I asked for that shit because we got there a little early and the mirror was empty. Nobody was in the bathroom, so I was like, let's take a selfie. We'll probably post this shit at some point. So we took a selfie, but at the time that I went to the bathroom, at that point, we there was like 20 women in there. And there's like five bitches trying to take a selfie in that same spot that Larissa and I took. A, and I'm like, can I please leave? And this is when homegirl is in the corner like. So. I'm <laughs> 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 yeah, but anyway, it was cool. We actually also met uh, another group of little people that were like little super. People. You know what I mean? Like they were like super cute and they were really. Homegirls. Really fun and good vibes. And we had some good energy that we were thinking because we ended up dancing. We said we might, um, 
we have our snaps. You know that eventually it's all going to be connected. But uh, <laughs> we had a we had a lot of fun. We ended up all dancing together, and it was just cool. And I told our Reese, we don't want to be out because shit is ratchet out there. But at the same time, let's feel some vibes. Yeah, and we, we got some be good at, vibes at home and being all lame. We got some good vibes. We yeah. got some good positive energy. That was pretty it was nice. Totally, they were like, they loved us. They were like, we love you. Yeah. It was like instant. Like, it once just, they started talking to us. Oh, and the bartender. It's just an energy thing. Oh, was like gave us, the bartender. That was an interesting what was thing. that about? So there was only a few female bartenders, but the other two were really far apart. And there was just one close to us and Larissa kept saying she felt a weird vibe and then she's like she doesn't like us because whenever we needed a drink she wasn't there but I'm like well, no well she didn't ever ask us no. are you okay but she but, we made eye contact several times no but she wasn't having it I think yeah she must have I hate to say this because they're gonna hate me and I'm gonna put machista talk she must have been on her period oh man I said she must have been on her period <laughs> just kidding I don't know but she was kind of a bitch but we were just telling those girls like I think she was trying to say those girls were young and they need to have balls and you know say their own drink or I whatever. don't think so I think she think? you know I, everything I've dated is bartenders bro so I know it, what it is to be back there just because sometimes I'm the person like, ugh, I can't wait for her to get off. So and she's still dealing with these motherfuckers. Uh -huh. So I think it was a, a dilly where a dilly. she doesn't want to be there. It's fucking New Year's. Not just any New Year's, but like 2020. Like yeah. I said, she might have kids. She might have a family, a boo, somebody that she's here serving us. And she's expecting like, you know, it was packed. She wants to make her money. So for somebody to be like me was like, oh, what you want? And get, you order. And then they order. And they honestly took forever to pay, bro. Like nobody was ready with money. What did they think? That the drinks were going to be for that, free? That's true. And she so, did take her the drinks. like Yeah. Which is a paid. pretty fucked up thing. But yeah. bro, about yeah, three of them, they couldn't. And I, let's not get into this. But uh, I was just, I mean. Yeah, you're right, you're right. She is going through some shit. Yeah, that's why I kept saying she's stressed. Because then, then after that, what happened? She was kind of. She nice. asked us, yeah. Do you guys need a drink? Yeah. Maybe so, she, she thought she was. Let's not judge her. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's done. It's but, anyways, good. it was cool. Then people were cool, they had good energies, but to her, she's just some youngins drunk asking for a drink and nobody is going to pay. So if she has the, the drinks. Who knows what happened? I don't know, bro. It's okay. Let's not. But that's probably happened in the past. So. Oh, she, oh, she. But anyway. She. Um, she. Yeah. So that was that. That was fun. What was the other thing? We got the straw girl. Um, straw girl. Twenty twenty. We're done. And the, yeah, we're done with the year. And and like I love the. Just the vibe out on the dance floor. People were just like, Ava do, 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 do. We had the Albuquerque. Nobody was judging, like, Everybody whether was you were young time. or old or whatever. It was just, it was cool. It was just it was a, a good time. It was a good time. I'm, I'm glad we went out. Mm -hmm. I was feeling like, oh, I didn't get it. <laughs> I was being lame, so. Nah, I, you know. I, yeah, I we, had to push we went, myself. We went hardcore last night, so yeah, it we was a lot kinda, to ask. We were, oof, it was yeah. rough. We had the last drinks that we had were tequila. Yeah. And it wasn't bad. It was just, I don't know. Maybe it I was that pizza. I keep saying I don't want to say where it was from, it. but I don't. Maybe it was a pizza. It wasn't the pizza for me. I think ooh. it was just. I think I we had whiskey it. and tequila and. We didn't have whiskey. Oh, yeah, we did. <laughs> whiskey, tequila, and then we so had... So I had two shots of whiskey, two shots of tequila, and then the beer. I think we had the beer sometime, too. No, we had beer for sure. 
But that's not a lot. Sometimes when I mix beer and Everybody says that, but I think that's in your head. No. I mix everything all the time. Yes, 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 yes. Whatever. Yes. I'm different. I'm different, too. But I saw your stomach is stronger than mine because we had the same things last night. Yeah, okay. And I didn't, I couldn't. So this morning, I slept all day, too, actually. I, I, I was yeah, like, I, I didn't December even, 31st, 2019. I didn't even wash a dish. <laughs> I didn't even wash a dish or nothing. Ah, oh, I just... Grace, he was like, are you going to take me for a walk? Or, ugh, you know. Tenoch, too, he was just like... Grrr. I'm like, nah, boy, I can't. I can't. Oh, remember that girl when we when we were walking? Barefoot? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. Ah, there's a lot of You're shit You're right, I there. should... I am such a soft heart. Mm -hmm. I just... There was a lot of drunken girls yeah, out there, and Larisi was trying to save them all. Was on don't the save street. them. She don't want to be saved. <laughs> she didn't have no shoes on, and she was she a looked all sad. And she was like, when the fireworks went off. Oh, was, that's different. She went. Oh, okay. There was a special firework that went on at one point that you could see all the Mexicans and Latinos. It's just kind of like even Larisi was like, what? And it was like, it was yeah, that sounded like a fucking fire. shot. Yeah. And, but, nah, she, regardless, she was fucked up. Like, she was fucked up. And she's laying on the sidewalk. And then she started no yelling shoes. at the person that was trying to help her. And then she ran across the street. She and ran she across came the street. Back. <laughs> I told Laura this she whole had, time. She had no clothes on. Don't. And help no her. shoes. Don't say it. It was freaking cold. It was cold as shit. She and had, I had, like, my. She had oops. one of those, like. Uh, tight little tube dresses? Yes. Yeah, Holy shit, bro. No shit. And I have like a long sleeve shirt and my little Uggs and I'm still cold. I I'm have what like, I'm wearing and a coat. I'm like... <laughs> and I needed earmuffs. <laughs> you're right. I, I listened to you. I, I wasn't trying to... I was telling Larissa I've been through this. I've been out many nights, over a decade. <laughs> and, uh, you're right. You know, you feel bad because it's you're, like my you're a woman. Nature, you're like, a woman, so you feel like that's it's fucked like little up. Little kids. I if tell Larissa, yeah. Little kids without any shoes on, or well, yeah. I want to help them. We feel bad. I was telling like, Larissa. These are grown adults. I mean, accountability, people. Accountability. But I was telling Larissa, you know, like I've I've been around and I've seen a lot of things, and uh, you know, I. There's, they're always there. They're always around, and they're drunk as fuck, and you feel bad, but because you're a woman. But I hate to be again machista talk, but I hate to say this, but we are our worst enemies. We're awful to each other, and we're yeah. never, we never help each other. And when we do help each other, it, it backfires on one of or the other. Like, uh, so I was just telling her now, nah, they're young and stupid. And then you're going to do something to try to help him. And then somehow you're going to be the dummy that's at fault for shit. And she didn't know. She's like, oh, no, I feel bad. But then later, like she said, her, we didn't know at this point, this woman came over chasing her. They're, they're walking or running around all over the street. Then this man starts helping out. And then it turns out they're like homies or whatever because they ended up just chilling together. But it's like, I told you, yeah. like, it could have gone, it, it's like fucking crazy. Yeah, so. you need to be responsible for your own self. And if you can't handle your, whatever, too much alcohol or you didn't wear enough clothes, I mean, mm -hmm. that's on you. You're a grown woman. So, yeah. You're yeah, right. but... You know, so it's true. Like, people are just ratchet, and they, they have their own agendas and their whole no accountability. <laughs> yeah, that, <laughs> no I mean, accountability. That's, that's messed up. Anyway, let's stop talking about negative shit. We're probably going to okay. edit most of it. <laughs> okay. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Woo! 2020. Tenoche's over here looking like... Fuck, bitches, I just experienced fireworks for the... Is it 
fourth time in his life. So he's scared. He's scared right now. <laughs> But anyway, Happy New Year. Peace. I love that. Peace on earth. Oh, remember that thing that those girls taught us? Oh, that. I thought she was trying to scissor my my fingers. <laughs> I was like, I was like, you, you want a scissor? And they were appalled. They were like, oh, excuse, no. I'm like, ah, oh, I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, we're about to scissor with our fingers. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. I was like, what? The and they're like, no. Like this and peace, then peace, peace with your fingers. Love and I don't know what she was doing at first, but I'm guessing that was the shape like, of the heart. Oh, like, dude, we're doing a crazy shit right no, now. No, but you're no, but first we were doing this, bro. <laughs> so peace, love, and something that was unity. Like, unity. Peace, unity. Love, and unity. <laughs> Oops. Oh man. Anyway, <laughs> unity. <laughs> unity. You. So. Unity. That's pretty cool. That was fun. I'm glad we went out. I'm Me glad. too. That was cool. That was fun. That was a good and I think we have a, a good time. We always have time. a good time. Yeah. You is like most people is like put You're like a magnet. You're like a magnet. You're like a magnet. You're like a magnet. No, people gravitate to you and to I'm both of I'm us. just like No. Then what happens when you're alone? Then why are people are texting you and calling you and like, yeah, yeah. You're just. Okay. You just have insecurities, bro. Yes, it's true. We all do. We were talking about that. Even the most beautiful person in the world has insecurities. I told this girl today. No, she was talking some about her shoes. And I was like, no, you look beautiful. And she looked at me like, like, you didn't know? That's so sad that she didn't know. Like, you know, we always look at ourselves in the mirror. And we're talking about that girl in that video I told you that I saw that um, she talked about poses. Like, you can pose a certain way so you don't look awkward in your pictures. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which I always think you that I look awkward. You know you're beautiful. <laughs> and she says, like, first of all, don't put your limbs close to your body, like, where you're all skinny or fat. And then she's all, like, put them outside. And it's like... Just crazy, like different and shit. <laughs> Tell Lord, I feel fucking weird with like, I don't no, know, don't. like a, like a, what do they call titere, bro? Like a, like a puppeteer. Yeah, like the ones that have the strings. <laughs> 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 and your legs too and shit. <laughs> and then she said, uh, what was the other things? One was something you said that was about sticking out your chin or something. Yeah, because because you want. have like a double chin. What we call a papada. I, apparently, that's not good <laughs> to have it. Apparently, yeah. I have it because my face is shaped in a weird way. <laughs> I'm like Kevin Hart. See, the way my my face works is <laughs> like I already got that thing because I got these little cheeks. And I remember when I was, it was before high school. I would never, no, it was high school. I would always wear a jacket. It was a... Uh, a windbreaker but it was one of those that it was over the head like a hoodie yeah. but it was a windbreaker and that's so funny that now they're back in I wish I had that fucking thing it was so cool it was red with like yellow stripes and then it had like the Ooh. zipper from the the like the belly up right so I always had that shit and it was puffy because it was a windbreaker and I remember one day it was so fucking hot that I had to take it off because you know I'm never I'm never hot so I'm always cold so anyway I take it off And one of my friend's friends was like, oh, I thought you were fat. It was a Chinese. That you were fat? She said, I thought you were fat. She said that to me. Oh, my God. And really? then I was like, what do you mean? She's like, because your face. And you always had that jacket. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, what wow. The <laughs> But then I, and then one of my friends tells me, my people, my friends tell me that, uh, I have a fat face, and I'm like, and, you know, she has an incredible body. So I'm like, I know what you mean, because I had that girl tell me when I was, like, bro, skinnier than what I am right now. I was, like, 115 pounds. Oh, my God. Five, seven. She's like, I thought you were fat. And granted, that girl was really skinny. This is so funny. Segway. This girl used to have the longest arm hair. <laughs> and hopefully I'm able to put this episode before number two because and four i think because uh 
we were talking about arm hair. And this girl, oh my God, it was so thick and long. And I was like, fuck, I'm lucky. That's when I felt lucky because mine is They thin. say if you're skinny, you're, you grow hair. To is it to protect s- you from the from the cold? Yeah. Bro, evolution. But guess what, though? I found out one day that we were, uh, it was this was in Mexico. I don't know hair, dude. I mean, you know, I don't know. I know white girls with hair. But on the, the, their I arms. Got, I got meat on the bone, so. so. Wow, that's an interesting theory. I, I, we gotta I look think, into that. We gotta we gotta do a survey. I was watching this. Sh- I guess I forgot the name of the movie. Research is better than like a survey. <laughs> girls that with and people, young teens that had ana- anorexic issues, and mm. the doctor was like, "You have hair on your arms because your body is compensating to keep warm because you don't have any insulation." Well, <laughs> it's kind of like the whole thing of. The shade, the our shade, right? That is be, because we're, we were at in the continents and all that shit. Right. I, I totally get that. But I wanted to say something else. If you're, are you, if you're yeah, not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. So one day, <laughs> we were, because this is in Mexico, and we were in formation for the salute of the flag. And, uh, and now this is a big deal. You can't, like, fuck around for that shit. So you're literally like a soldier. And homegirl was next to me. And, uh... I remember, like, grazing her arm. Well, now I'm getting confused, but my point of the story is that it was just like, ew, that felt weird. I was like, why does your arm feel, like, like itchy? She shaves. So she has shaved, and oh. probably not that day. Probably, like, it had been a couple oh, days. So if she's like me, it's only a couple days when you already get that nasty, like... So stubbly. So I'd, like, graze my forearm against hers and it felt nasty and I'm like ew what's ugh and then people started making fun of her but I hadn't I didn't you know like I didn't know even I didn't even shave my legs much less my arms back then so I'm like of course dang so maybe because she was shaving it was growing thicker because isn't that a thing like it grows thicker and more like aggressive. I don't know if there's actual research that says that. But. Do you have any spot on your body where you don't constantly shave and it hasn't come thicker? Come out thicker? Or wax? Because every single thing that I've shaved or wax, it's come out thicker. I'm not about to get into everything that I do to my <laughs> body, but it's a lot. Because I'm a hairy bitch. Look at this um. melina. That's, a, that's like pretty healthy hair. But because of this... It's all over I the think place. it depends on like how coarse your hair is and stuff like that. Well, let me tell you something. Uh, my hairstylist, two, three of them have told me I give I give really bad hair splinters. Have you ever heard about hair splinters? Yes. I had never heard about them until one of them was like, ugh. The thing about cutting your hair is just like you get all the splinters like the worst because your hair is so thick. And I'm like, what do you mean splinters? And she's like, yeah, hair splinters. So, ooh, ouch. Those are rough. Yeah, um, I have really fine, thin hair, so I don't want to get that. And I haven't shaved parts of my body ever. You're lucky. You're lucky because you have a full head of hair, though. I was bald. But you have a full head of hair. Yeah, I do, I do, I do. It's so you're lucky you have a full I, head of I'm hair like, you have eyebrows I'm you have eyelashes grateful. and yes. then the rest it's like easy to maintain right 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 Ooh. you're a Mexican girl and Middle Eastern girls nightmare <laughs> cause Asian well, girls are like well I was bald I didn't have to get hair until I was like two so so what why'd you need hair before then you didn't even know what's up back then to keep warm but I lived in I'm pretty sure they put a hat on your I live head. in California. And Phoenix, I'm pretty sure so. your family didn't just left you out there stranded. No, no. They they carried I was on a pedestal. So. <laughs> just put that pussy no, was, on a pedestal. I was, on the, I was a baby. So where's the baby? That's what I'm saying. So you got I hair. That's fine. Anyway. What? Um, she don't a need bold no hair. Man, a bold man would tell you, what would you prefer to not have hair the first years of your life or not have have them the last that's, years of your life. That's true. My, well, my dad, 
And for a man, it's easier, but yeah. women. I have an auntie who, I don't. Yeah, I think. I think she's still alive. But she was losing her hair bad. Yeah, bro. my dad. I remember him. But but losing men. His hair, like, but women. In his twenties. Yeah. Because a man can just shave. That's true. A woman. Remember. Black like, women look really good. Yeah, that's Blah. different. They look Blah. very Blah. good in, with a like, lot of things that we don't. Yeah, that's true. And that's crazy because I'm brown, so I should. It shouldn't be that different. You but probably they, look good bald. Well, maybe because I have a small. A freakishly small head. My head, my head is freakishly small, but um. I don't see the Jay Leno thing. Though. You're, don't talk about that. Sorry. <laughs> okay. We're not talking about insecurities. Okay, this no 2020 is literally 2020, 3 a.m. right now. Okay. Oh shit! And we're still so, going. And we're still going. We're, we're gonna like, end this. We're not like passed out on the couch. <laughs> No. The little airline Larissa blanket. said she didn't want to be passed out on the couch with the, air, a li- the little red airline blanket. Now I do got to po- put the other podcast on. Uh, so I told her, all right, well, if you want to pot, let's pot. So we pot it. Good. I, you know, we got to pot when the moment is right. But yeah. also we got to be consistent and we can't wait like weeks and weeks. Right, right. We have to at least do, try to do at least once a week. And I know uh, right now it doesn't matter because we have so much material. Yeah. And I'm going to be... But see, for like today, I can't wait three weeks to put this out. Because yeah. that would be pointless. We literally Again. just came out from... Celib- we literally just had champagne in our hands and said Happy New Year's and dance our fucking ass off to Albuquerque and did Dancing Queen. So... We we gotta we gotta talk about this. 2020, 2019, we kicked you in the butt. In the butt hole. Ooh, I've been watching a lot of nasty things. So when Larissa said butthole. Oh. Uh, it was just a lot of like. Uh, Sorry. No no no, it's my fault for being a psychotic bitch that I'm like watch Whoa. fucking. No, Menendez no Brothers documentaries yourself. and like all kinds of shit that like we were talking about the Michael Jackson thing and I was trying That's to be specific a- with Larissa on New Year's Eve I was trying to be specific with Larissa about you didn't watch the documentary let me tell you ugh well, I don't Sorry. know that was there's no need to talk about that shit anyways and segue or remember what what was this the that's our segue sound Ooh. it's just that we never remember and we're too drunk to use it but I anyway I drunk but I'm good no, that's why we used it right now. Oh, okay. Before. I'm just saying. Yeah. But. Well, cool. I think we have good. Good content. We're about an hour and, and without editing, so it should be about 30. <laughs> we take out all the ratchetness out. And by that, I just mean names. Yeah, I didn't just names. Say I don't names. think we said any names. We just don't, we don't want to involve anybody. We talked about a few people, but they're cool. They should be cool. Yeah. So we Hopefully. should be all right. Um, you know, ratchet people, come on. I mean, don't be. Dumb. I keep telling Larissa, it's gonna. I know happen. I gotta it's gear myself happen. up for the, all the haters. Oh, I'm such a softy. I am too, but I, I don't care about y'all. I, you know, I am a softy and everything, but I'm. I can't let it. I don't know if it's confidence down. or what it is, but most of the time, I really don't care. Don't mess up my vibe think or do That's which is bad Kendrick because Lamar? yeah don't yeah. That's with my kill my butt don't, don't kill, kill my, my butt yeah bitch don't kill my butt bitch don't kill my butt hey yeah so Anyways. but <laughs> it could be for me it's kind of like a, a pro and a con because it's great that i don't care but at the same time sometimes i don't care about people that i love and it's not that i don't care like for example That's true. one I of my good friends much about she, it was just her birthday. Strange. And I didn't say happy birthday. It was, it just happened a couple days ago. I don't know why I didn't text. And I was thinking about it, but I was really like, that was one of the days when I was working on our pod, editing, creating our logo, doing everything. And I'm like, oh, I'll tell her in a minute. Oh, I'll tell her in a minute. I'll tell her in a minute. And then today she texts me and I'm like, fuck, I didn't tell her happy birthday. So mm. see, sometimes it's really good that you don't, 
care what people think, but other times it's like, sometimes I don't care at all. But then there's other moments when I'm like, fucking, my sensitivity is like turned to like the max yeah. and shit. And then I'm like, oh, I feel everything. <laughs> but anyway, we're ending, ending this shit. Ending and beginning, because we ended it, and we're about to begin, and it's about to get cray-cray, but it's 2020, you know, you know what it is. Um, it's good content. It is. We made and, it to 2020, and we're here to talk the talk and walk the talk. Wait, walk, walk. <laughs> talk yeah. the talk and walk the walk. That's all right. And pot the pod. Pod the pod. We're potting. Get the we would be potting in 2020 down. even more. We're going to turn it up on the fucking stove. But anyway. Turn it up. Turn yeah. up the beat. So turn this is what it is. Beat. And uh, anybody that knows me knows that I'm always late. And anybody that knows me and loves me knows that I will always be late. That's just a little heads up. The podcasts are going to be late. And uh, we are the Bodega Cat. It's lit. Yeah. So this is another pod coming right at you.